quite literally the other day I made a video talking about the EDP 445 situation where he tried to join Big O, tried to, you know, start anew on that wondrous platform that no one has ever fucking heard until now. Uh, of course, it went horribly for him, you know, people quickly found out his existence there, and, you know, they started trolling him and stuff. So you don't want bitches, but you want- Block him, he's gone. <laughs> Get him out. Ladies and gentlemen, that wasn't really that big of a deal. Of course, uh, you know, a, a pedo trying to come back to the internet, that's a, that's an issue all in itself, right? But, when it comes to Big O not really being one of those, like, popular websites, it, it really didn't matter. What if I told you that EDP445 has a presence on TikTok? Unfortunately, that be true, ladies and gentlemen, that be true. He has a TikTok account. It's not a fake account, it is a legitimate account, and the most unfortunate thing about this is one of his videos managed to rack up around 4.4 million views. 4.4 million views within one day. And it has over 500,000 likes. Can you believe that, ladies and gentlemen? At first, I was like, no fucking way did we miss this, okay? Because if, if, we, if this would have lasted like five days, Right, at least like a week without any, no one even knowing his presence here. I feel like I would say, you know, I would be safe to say that this is a colossal failure on all of our parts. But this is literally just a day. I already know. So shut the fuck up, first of all. But as you can see right here, it says a day. This video was uploaded a day ago. So this is still kind of fresh. Okay, still kind of unfortunate to see this motherfucker back online. Okay, especially on a very prominent and very popular website is TikTok, okay? And to be getting views like this, absolutely fucking ridiculous. But one thing to note about this entire thing is at least the comment section knows his evil deeds, okay? Of trying to get that cupcake from the 13-year-old girl. So if you read the comments, you get like a mixture of like, you know, people just like interacting with the video in general. But of course you have people who are like, oh, it's the cupcake. And bro, I smile when I see him. Yo, is this really the cupcake guy? I am so confused. And you're supposed to be in elementary school right now. <laughs> are you supposed to be? No, keep him away from elementary school. The cupcake guy. You know, he's known as the cupcake guy now, not EDP. He's known as the cupcake guy. How is he not in prison? How is he not in jail? All right, uh, the, the people who did the entire sting operation, you, you know, we probably already established this, but let me make it known one more time. They fucked it up, okay? They fucked up big time. Bold of him as well, I must say, uh, to try to make a, uh, a presence on TikTok. Very, very bold of him. Fuck him regardless though. But here's the video just in case you want to see it for yourself. I'm just going to play it right here. I'm going to mute the mic, but here we go. So the Rams damn near blew the fucking game. So that is literally the video that garnered him 4.4 million views and 500,000 likes. Amazing. TikTok is a whole nother breed. Look, it has some great content here and there, but the love of God, dude. Fucking hell. This video is literally six seconds long of him just seeing, like, oh yeah, the, the Eagles, they they almost lost. Ho ho. Yeah. Definitely worth the 4.0 million fucking views. God damn it, people. And he's still continuing to upload videos, okay? Here's his most latest one. I, I believe this one has like a copyrighted song, but my god. So I'm not 100% sure what TikTok can really do about this situation. I mean, they could ban him, of course, which I feel like everyone, and I mean everyone that knows the situation would be like, yeah, ban this bitch. Ban his ugly fucking ass off of fucking TikTok. But I really don't know if TikTok is actually gonna ban him. I really don't. I really don't. I mean, one would imagine, and one would hope they do, but I have no idea. I really have no idea. But I, I guess, yeah. Fingers crossed they actually do, because they get this fucking pedophile off of goddamn TikTok or anywhere. Just put him in prison. Put him in fucking jail. Anywhere besides the online sphere where minors can interact with him. Please. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the horrible news that I have to bring to you today on this Tuesday afternoon. But hey, it's not 
all doom and gloom. I got an orchid today. Here's a picture. Yay! Lovely orchid. Make sure to write down a comment in the comment section how beautiful my orchid is. If you don't, I'm gonna get really fucking pissed and there will be hell to be paid. But anyways, thank you everyone for watching this video. Really do appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want some more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified of my next video. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.